Hello and welcome to video number six. In this specific video, we're going to talk about making a DigiResults payment button and link and adding it to the sales page. So this process is really, really easy. It consists of step number one on digiresults.com. Simply click on the get code button. We're going to get the code. Step number two, we're going to add the code to your sales page. Depending whether you have a button or a link or you want to use digital results button or you want to use your own button, you can do that. I'll show you different routes. And of course, last but not least, step three, we're going to upload the sales page to your website through FTP and then we're going to get everything ready and we're going to publish it on Digi results to make sure that everything is up and running. So let's go ahead and do that. So getting the button code is actually very easy. All you need to do is go to the product listing and then locate the product itself, whether it's the front end product, the one-time offer or the back end product, whatever sales page pertains to which product. In this case, I'm dealing with the front end product. So if I click on edit product, you have the get buy button code right here. Now before I go here, I do want to mention that you can also get discount codes here by clicking discount codes. And you can also add a new discount code by clicking here, creating your own coupon code and entering the default price and optional sales page if you want to go that route. And if you go back over here, you can also add a new dime sale, enter a code here, and you can make it so there's a starting price and it increases by a certain amount and so forth. So I just wanted to show you those two options real quick. And if I go back to this page here, click on get buy button code, there are several different options here. You can either get the buy button code here. And as you can see, it has the price listed here. The forum code for forums, or if you want the link only and use your own buy button, you can actually get the link here. So let's say for example, that I wanna just copy the buy button code here and I like this buy button and I want to use it on my sales page. In this case, I'm going to copy this here, go back here, go to my sales page, which is the index.html, open that using Composer. And let's say we're going to replace this with the buy button. So I'm going to look for this text. I'm going to go to source code. I found the text here. I'm going to replace this with the code. Click on save. And as you can see, I've added the code. Now let's say for example that you have your own buy button and you want to link that buy button. So let's say for example that click here to purchase. Whether this is a link or an image, if you click on link, all you need to do is enter the link here. If it's an image, it's the same thing. You click on link, you click on the image, click on link and enter the link right here. So in this case, I'm going to just leave it as it was earlier with the buy button. I'm going to click save, exit out of here, and make sure that you upload the files to your FileZilla FTP program to your website. So we're going to override that index.html file. I'm going to go back here. And if everything is done correctly, I refresh the page you can see that the buy button is here. Now, if you click on this link, you'll notice that it says product no longer available. And that is because we have not actually made this product live yet. 
So if I go back here to the main listing page for that specific product, I click on start selling and it says product XYZ is published and I go back to the sales page here, click on refresh. If I click on the buy button, it should lead me to PayPal. If it does, then we have succeeded. And as you can see, we have succeeded in setting up a DigiResults product. And that's it. And you can also, when you're done, click on put through test sale, just to make sure that everything is working in order. And if everything is working in order, then of course you can begin to promote your product and it is live. Another thing you can also do is of course add your product to the DigiResults Affiliate Marketplace by clicking this button here. And that's it.